Welcome back for another episode of On the Bench presented by The Bench Market. Pleased to be joined by the V's defenseman Josh Niedermeyer here after the V's uh, Wednesday night victory over the Alberni Valley Bulldogs. 2-1 overtime win on Wednesday, Josh. A game that went right down to the wire in the final 20 seconds of overtime. What did you see from that hockey game and a pretty good one between two pretty good teams? Yeah, so we kind of we kind of started off really good there and we had a couple of battles back and forth. I mean, they're a good team. They they had a good win streak coming into here. So we just came ready to play and I think we, we kind of hung in there. We they got one back when we were up 1-0, but I think we coming in overtime, we had the right mindset and we just came in and we hung, hung in there. Good overtime win for this team. They've had three overtime wins so far on home ice. Uh, you had an opportunity to play. You're one of the guys that's, uh, that's only on this team that's had an opportunity to play in front of fans in this building. You were with this team a couple of years ago as an affiliate player, and then last year playing without fans. But for the first few games of the year here at the SOEC, how has it felt with having people in the building and a pretty good atmosphere around here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like last year, two years ago, I played just a couple of games, and that that was just kind of what made me want to come here. The the fans and the uh, just the atmosphere, you, like you said, it was, it's 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 oh, second to none in the junior A. So, and uh, this year has been awesome. This year has this has been great. The fans have been showing up, and it's been awesome. Now you're a guy that was growing up uh, in California to get your life a little bit. Grew up in California and then moved to Penticton a few years ago. Uh, how was the life growing up in Cali? Obviously, your dad was still playing uh, for the Anaheim Ducks at that time, so uh, must have been pretty cool to be the son of an NHLer. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was awesome down there. But I guess it's a different culture down there. I guess in California, not much people I guess know about hockey, and they're not really I guess interested. So it didn't really make much of a difference. And it was honestly, it's which was fine with me. And it was awesome. It was it was awesome though because uh, it was just like a small community of hockey players, and it's it was uh, it was great to be part of. And then you move up here to Penticton, and a bit of a, a complete culture change because Penticton's really enveloped in hockey. You go and play at the Okanagan Hockey Academy, and then you go from you know sunshine and sandals to all of a sudden having to live and breathe hockey every single day when you come to Penticton. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a big, I guess, shock. You could say that just moving over out here, the the culture, I guess, and. Everything you do, I guess, is it kind of like based around hockey, and down there it was just the complete opposite. So, I think it was it's, it's something I really like like up here, and it's something I wouldn't change. You are one of four brothers, I believe, correct? And yeah. uh, you're the second youngest brother. Uh, you know, obviously, the oldest brother has been successful, and you're uh, second oldest brother in Jackson, off at Arizona State, uh, and a former V. Do you still have a lot of communication with him down in Arizona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's loving it down there, and he's he's having the time of his life. So he's doing really well. He's also, with his shoulder back healed up, so but he's he's definitely he loves it down there. Uh, you guys are completely different personalities. Uh, Jackson, I think it's fair to say, is the more outgoing one, and you're more of an introvert. But uh, how did that work out growing up? And uh, obviously, I think you two are the closest in age in age range. So how did that work out for you two growing up? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was different. But he he always hogged up all the words, so he was yelling and everything. So I just had to be quiet and let him let him get his piece in. So I just kind of, I guess, didn't talk much, so he he could get his word in, but. You are uh, you're coming into uh, what would be your second BC Hockey League season, and uh, something that you haven't had to deal with a whole lot now is going back on the road and traveling. The V's had an island trip last weekend. We've gone to Prince George already. Uh, some big trips coming up as well, including another PG trip and then a trip to Cranbrook. What do you like to do to pass the time on the bus? Uh, we kind of like playing cards a bit. So we bring a couple sets of cards, and we like playing cards for <laughs> for quite a long time, two to three hours, four hours. But besides that, like, uh, I guess watching movies and stuff on my phone, but before the games, I just kind of get all that stuff out and just look out the window and try and get focused before the game. This is going to be a pretty controversial topic, I think, but who is the best card player that, on the bus? Uh, I don't know. Frank Jurasevic likes to say he is, but I think, I don't know about him. I think Tony Alapo is probably the best. So you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of excitement there, a lot of excitement at home as well. You got two roommates this year. Obviously, uh, you're used to having a Niedermeyer with you, but now you have a Newendike and a Smith, Spencer Smith and Jackson Newendike. How's it been like living with those two guys so far? Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. They've been nothing but great. And so I knew uh, Newy before I guess the season. So we kind of talked back and forth before he came here. So it it has been nothing but great, and they've been awesome. Who's the best one out of the two? <laughs> um. I think I gotta go with Smitty just because Newey's just always talking and he just doesn't shut up. So, you gotta. He, Smitty likes to keep the peace. 
There's a lot of things going on in that household <laughs> at all times. I think the Niedermeyer clan is one of those ones that everybody kind of is drawn to. I know there's a lot of mini stick tournaments that go on there as well. Who is the favorite if you were to pick uh, for the best mini stick player? I mean, I would say I am. I think every team that I'm on obviously wins, but besides, but it gets pretty rowdy down there, and there's definitely some walls being banged and stuff. So, but well, my parents allow it, so it's it's an awesome time we have. So. I gotta ask you, obviously, uh, since I think everybody can see you've you're in qualification for the best hair on the team. I don't know what you've got going on up there. Do you really know what you're doing with it right now? No, no. It's it kind of just I wake up and it it is how it is. So I just it come to the rink like it. So, but when I put effort into it, it it, it can get really good. Who puts the most effort into their hair? Oh, I think. Maybe Casey McDonald, just the way, because he has the same hair as me, but his is always slicked back and his is always wet. So he, he puts, he's definitely got to put some time into that. All right, and to finish things up, we'll hear a question from our special guest. My name is Bradley Nadeau, and I'm number 82 from the Penticton Bees. Uh, I have a question for Josh. Josh, who's your girlfriend? <laughs> oh, no, we can't say that. Josh, who's the worst sewer player on the team? Um, I think I got to go with Brett Morvick. Just his. His hand-eye coordination and his feet coordination are just not there. and It's, it's kind of hard to watch. <laughs>